Hi, my name is Simon. I'm a musician, artist, dad, and producer. I've been working with music professionally since I was 19. Ah, I actually started my first band when I was 13, and most of that time has been a journey of growing up fast so I could play as much as possible. Staying above the surface, providing to my family, and pack every single day with joy has always been the end goal. In this series, I'm going to do a deep dive into Reason Plus. I'm going to follow along Reason's 30-day trial, and hopefully it'll bring some inspiration and it also might lead you to learn something new. I really hope you enjoy this. Thank you, guys. I cannot find home because I can't find myself. Okay, so it's 7.30 in the morning. It's pretty early. Now I'm going to make some coffee, then go to the studio. You guys will follow, and uh, we're going to have some fun today. Oh, who's it? Hey, Chris. We're going. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited about today. I've been waiting for this first impression video for a long time now. And I'm just, I've been constantly thinking about like, what are, what are the possibilities with all the, the different synths? And uh, yeah, I'm just so pumped to see what racing can bring. Now we're finally at the studio. It's time to unpack everything. Welcome to uh, Hydra Studios. Let's walk in. So I'm just gonna fix up the studio for a second and then we're good to go. Boom. It's time to start the day with some Reason Plus. So there's, there's a lot I don't know yet, so bear with me. I think we're just gonna dive straight into the different sound packs. I think it's a good start to start with the Reason Plus Companion. I, I think we do that, yeah, we should do that. Beautiful, beautiful piano there. Beautiful riser, okay. Okay. I really like that. Didn't like the kick, but that's, eh, doesn't matter. Um, maybe I should start with something from here. I really like the, like, the, this glocken bell. The first impression here is really good sound. Like, really good sound. Um, I wanna hear some drums. Where, where's the drums? Give me the drums. Mm, chopped vintage brakes. Yeah, that could work. Okay, that was sort of what I expected. Let me see here. Okay, so that sounds really good. That's for me like cool loops you can add as layers to your drums to give it more groove and uh, yeah, more character. But I'm more interested in the, in the soloed samples. Do I hear Billie Eilish? I'm a bad guy. Dark pop. Was that dark pop? No. Ooh, I love dark pop. Ooh. I just love how it's sort of, it's so well crafted. Oh. So, I actually made a little track from the different sounds we've had so far. So I've used a few of the different sounds. I've added a few of the drum sounds. I also added some of my personal uh, samples that I'm used to just for getting a quick workflow. I had a few, like, one hour just playing along, and this is what I came up with. Yep, 
Yeah, that's it. So let's take it from the top and I'll show you what I did to the different parts of the song. So starting with the kick, I actually used from the Reason Rack uh, this Trap Pop drums. Uh, I also added a clap. Really great, great sounding drums. And obviously you can do a lot with the drums. This is like just a first play thing, so nothing really extraordinary here. Moving along, this pluck I really liked. It's also from the Dark Pop Pluck. I'm still very new to this, but I found the show devices and I found the tape echo down here. Uh, where I just tweaked a little on the dry wet knob for for the echo. Nothing special here. Otherwise, the dark pop pluck. That's what I've been using. Moving along. So this second layer is a 16 beat pluck, and I've used the A tick, I believe, from the algorithm plucks, and uh, it sounds really cool. By itself, it sounds like this. And the only thing I've done is added a filter and a side chain to it. Moving along, this piano plugin is probably one of the best piano plugins I've ever used. Um, it has so many different characters to play along with. Okay, so after redoing this like 200 times, uh, as per usual, um, I have done like a final mix. This is what it sounds like right now. Yeah, it's a little cranked, I, I but I like the sound, uh, and I especially like the different sounds from Reason. Um, so thank you guys for um, tuning in, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. So if you like this video, please hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. That would mean the world. And for the next episode, I can reveal we're probably going to do a little more of a deep dive into the production. So we'll be going through a lot more about arrangements and um, yeah, I'll teach you all my tricks. That's, that's the plan. And also, maybe we do something completely different. I don't know. See you guys soon. Bye.